Bizarre night again. Bizarre last few days. I have been able to vlog on the other vlog uh, for, uh, for a couple of days. I haven't even done the YouTube stroll. It's the the tea that I am now having. It's, a, it's an adjustment to it. It's allowing me to relax a lot more. It takes a lot of the edge off, and that means I'm sleeping more. So the body needs to repair itself from, from the winter, which is rather harsh, and it's adjusting to the new heat, it does it before. We go down to about 60 degrees in the winter, and that's Fahrenheit, and we go up to uh, 90 degrees in the summer. And so the body has to adjust. conditions. And that's not always possible to do. Or in some, 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 many cases, more difficult to do than one would imagine. But anyway, we're off. We're going to have to recharge the camera when we get to my place. Because uh, it hasn't been charging for the last couple of days. So, well, I do, I do, I knew, I forgot about it. I have a charging station uh, in the front now for uh, USB devices. Uh, I added that when I added in the, uh, the, the extra headlight. The, uh, the, high, the whole headlight issue, that I didn't realize this, is that the headlamp screws in to the uh, headlamp situation. So what happened is that I wanted to take a look at it and see what was going on, and I realized it had come loose and wasn't appropriately tight. So this is what this is what sort of what caused the entire issue. Was this sort of it was 
was that the uh, headlamp was coming loose. And of course, with all the bouncing and jouncing around, we do every time we hit a bump, uh, that will mock it loose. So I have to remember to check it periodically and make sure that everything is tight. Taking the time, we're ahead of the rain. Then a nice ride in. So I'll probably have more of a deeper conversation on the way back because uh, right now things are kind of uh, screwy with me in terms of my mind, and there's not really much to sort of really say because. I'm still just sort of mulling things over. I'm not too sure where things are going in terms of the overall thoughts of the day. The notebook is expanding. That's what I'm working on now. I'm working on expanding my notes and reorganizing things. And so what happens as you do that as you reorganize things, you become you, you, you become aware of other things that sort of uh, you kind of forgot or. So I think I just saw, no, I saw some, uh, this is common for, for men as they get to certain age and start balding. Uh, the new, uh, dry shampoo that I'm using, and this is the one that I made to fix up some of the ingredients. My back ball patch is disappearing. It's growing hair. Now, of course, with all these, you know, the Chinese medicines and so on and so forth, and the teas, these things are kept secret. They're, they're kept secret. They don't, you don't necessarily talk about what the ingredients are. And I just place a whole new order for ingredients. And part of the problem is this whole fad thing. This, that people are, are into fads. And what it does is that as soon as something becomes popular without necessarily any reason for it, is that other than that, bad, the supply of what's available disappears and the prices go up. So, I have my little secrets as to what I get and where I get it, and that keeps the supply uh, well on in terms of the of the price well under wraps. I use the weather app for is that, is, is that it allows me to keep riding. Uh, I sort of dodge the weather. This is a game of dodge weather. Is it a dodge ball? This is dodge weather. And that's the thing I think I feel like now. I think I'm going to go back and uh, watch, rewatch uh, uh, the kids, the codename Kids Next Door series.
Well, we're off at around 11, 11 p.m. on uh, uh, January 8th. Yes, uh, 23, hour, 23 hours. Yeah, just about 23 hours into the 8th day of June. Sometimes getting the date right. <laughs> Gotta get that mirror right. Interesting night. Feeling most of these things are interesting. My mind, uh, this is my mom was ask, just asking as I was leaving. My mind never turns off. The issues at hand are always present. So typically, I like watching cartoons because they're not so serious. Uh, but most of the cop shows and stuff like that. Although most people will actually just these sort of call these action comedies, there's a serious undertone that's not not necessarily realized, and that the government is involved on both sides in in, in the drug trade. I mean, is it that the whole thing, the drug war, the, the war on terrorism, and so on, so this is all a game. It's all done for show, because they're on both sides of the argument, and the, what, they, what they try to do is they try to create an issue, and this is, a, this is what the LGBTQ does, this is what all these different groups do, they're there to create issues, they don't actually help anybody, they're there to create issues, they're there to, in terms of pretense to sort of, to show how wonderful they are, and nothing else. They don't care about the people. The, the whole thing about caring about people is not real. The government carries off this bullshit like you wouldn't believe. The, the, the only way to describe the government are as, in many ways, is, well, there's only one way to describe it. They're habitual liars. They don't know what the truth is. And part of the problem is that as they sit there in this environment, they convince themselves that they're good people. When they're not. They do horrible, horrible things. And they don't pay attention or care who they hurt. And the problem is, is that Lion LeBron is doing what he's doing because he's got a lot more capacity than I do. He's a lawyer and he's experienced at law. He's been in the courtroom. He knows how to file cases to, to get involved, but yet he does He sits back and sort of, you know... Doesn't do anything. I mean, this is the whole issue with, you know, the late Rush Limbaugh. 
you know, Rush Limbaugh, he was another intellectual on the um, Republican side. And he'd sit there and tell you what was wrong and how this is going to go bad and how that's going to go bad. And, oh, yeah, great, okay, yeah, you know what's going to go bad and what's not going to go bad, right? That sort of type of thing. But the thing is, given your power base, given the number of people who were following you, what did you actually do? The answer was nothing. And so what happens is politicians and their people know that when the push comes to shove, the ultimate, ultimately, people won't do anything. They'll shut up. They'll look the other way. They'll hide their heads and pretend like nothing has ever happened. And so the bad people, and this is sort of what was brought out in the Luther effect, uh, with uh, Dr. Philip Zimbardo. No, they can get away with what it, even with murder. They can get away with crimes like drug, you know, drug trade, and drug traffic, and so on and so forth. They don't care. They've got power. They've got position, and they know at the end of the day, the, the lords will not, won't do anything to stop it. I had a phone call coming in. But it's not going to be anything so I can answer right now because uh, I don't have my headset so I'm not going to answer calls on the road. So it's that simple. But this is, this is the nature of things. But the thing is, in order to figure out the way around it, and this is sort of the hard part as you're walking through different points, sometimes you're out in the middle of the ocean, there's no wind, wind blowing, and you're just kind of drifting there between points of, uh, of, of things you can do. Lionel Levy had a group, a group of like-minded people who were lawyers. He could have got, said, got, uh, put together a, a legal group that would have projected uh, the GOP senators from all these other diff these different sort of attacks by people who were, who, 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 who were committing crimes. He could have stopped it. He could, he, could have, he could have made a dent in it, but he chose not to. He could have gone out there and protected kids, but he didn't. And it's not about what you do on your router or having your kids on the internet or YouTube or whatever. Most of the trafficking is done and arranged by people in high places in power. It's done by the government. They're involved in all this. The cops don't know enough to know that they're actually working for the criminals. They're working for the enemy. Same thing with the soldiers. They're, tip, they're, they're trotted out there. They're used as gun f for as tar target practice to see how one bomb or one ammunition works against another. Uh, they're, they're test dummies. I mean, how 
many people, how many nurses believe the doctors are going to believe that after the CBD, the CBD thing is over, they're going to go down in history like Joseph Mengele, who experimented on all the people in the various different uh, concentration camps. There's a whole program. And, and Mengele wasn't the only one doing this. It, 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 there was a whole staff. There was, there was an entire program. And you look at the history of the program, where it came from. It wasn't something that was new. down a little bit. I'm coming up on your turn anyway, so... 